Welcome Aries to your mid-month reading for August. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, if you like this, please like and subscribe. Let's get right in there, Aries, and see what's going on for you in mid-month. Don't forget, guys, to check out my new store. I put the link in the description area and also put a donation link as well. Okay. In here for you, Aries. See what's going on. Going straight into your energy of what you're thinking and feeling for the mid part of August. We have two cards coming out. I've got, look at this. It's very rare that I get two cards. I don't get them very often. It's kind of there. You have the Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands coming out. Look at that. You see those? So it's like you're having messages coming through about maybe traveling, going on a date, doing something. Something that feels adventurous. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Let's clarify that with an Oracle card. This Oracle card won't only just clarify on these two cards, but it's also going to clarify on the entire reading. So this card has a very big job. Okay, so what are we doing? What have we got here for Aries? Movement, choices, and decisions. Ooh. So, huh, whatever this, either aiming high or messages, I just feel like it's a message. Just got this message. This message coming out. Um, it's going to make you make some kind of choice, some kind of decision. Um, and with the page of wands, it's like that dreaming, moving. So, it could be causing some movement. Okay, let's see going on the present over here for you, Aries. We're going to go straight to the present, the near past, and the near future. <laughs> Choose wisely. Okay, well, we just said that we're going to have some choices to make over here, right, in the present. And definitely in the present. Wow. Okay. Patience. Patience, my dears. Patience. Just makes me wonder, are you going to use your patience? Or is someone else going to use patience? The near past over here. Why the awareness upside down? Feeling a little blinded to a situation. Okay. And in the near future, what do we have? Clarify on the near future for me. Positive movement forward. Wow. Okay. So you have that spiritual union coming out, with that positive movement forward. But this awareness over here in the past is very interesting because it's telling me, Tor uh, sorry, not Taurus, <clears throat> Aries, it's telling me you might be dealing with a Taurus. I don't know why, but I just kept hearing Taurus. Um, you're, are you very unaware of what a Taurus is doing? Okay. You're blinded to whatever Taurus is doing. I just keep hearing Taurus. So... Okay. And talking about Taurus, there's some Taurus energy coming right out at you. <laughs> okay, some Taurus Capricorn energy coming right out. Um, could be dealing definitely with a Taurus or a Capricorn, um, but very blinded. I feel like you're blinded to whatever um, is going on around you. Why do I feel with it sitting over here? It's you're blinded to their actions. Look. We have the planting the seeds to get somewhere. You're blinded by these seeds that are being planted. Two of the pinnacles. Wow. Somebody is planting seeds. But it's not you. With the two of pinnacles over here, it's like they're kind of... I just feel like they know that by planting these seeds, it's going to be a 50-50 chance. 
and you're unaware of what's going on in the near past. You don't know what's going on. It's like you're veiled from the understanding of what really is going on. This person feels like they're kind of gambling in love, but they're kind of losing the battle. They're planting all the seeds, but they're not sure what's going to happen. I'm telling you, you're dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn for most of you. Some kind of earth sign going on over here. They're planting seeds with you, towards you. Gosh, look at all the pentacles, you guys. Four of pentacles. Holding tight. Holding tight to what? Clarify. Clarify I'm holding tight. Queen of Wands. You. You, Aries. They're holding tight to you. They see you as a loyal friend. They see you as a loyal companion. They see you as someone just full of life, sparkly, happy. They go get her. And they're holding close to this and loyally holding close to you as well. So I also feel like it's two in one. They see you as this very loyal friend um, and they're very loyal to you as well they're holding tight to you but you don't see it because you are unaware unaware of what the secret the secret unaware of the secret This person, okay. Okay, Aries, I know where this is going. Yeah, spirits on a roll this morning. They are, you are unaware of the secret manifestation that they have for you. They're taking action towards you, holding close to you. This person has a crush on you, but I'm telling you right now, this person is a friend. This is a friend, a close friend. Somebody you hang out with all the time. Could even be a best friend. <clears throat> And they have a big crush on you. And they have passion for you, three of swords. So you're unaware that this person that you're hanging around with, for most of you, it's going to be a best friend, opposite sex. Um, for some of you, it could be regular sex, you know, same sex. But however it is, this person has a huge crush on you. They're holding tight to you. They want to take a chance with you. They've been planting seeds um, to get towards you, but you have been so unaware of this secret crush that they have on you. And they've been taking a lot of action and passionate action towards you, but you've kind of blinded and veiled yourself from um, even seeing what they're doing. Um, they, you know, they're very loyal to you. They could even be very protective of you. Um, yeah, it seems to me like they had sent you this message. They want to travel with you. They want to go out. Maybe they asked you to go on the movies with them. And it's really in your mind whether or not you should take this, this, um, movement with them. So here's where that movement choices and decisions are coming, are coming into play. I really believe that the movement choice and decisions in the near past over here was really them planting these seeds and getting ready to take the action towards you and knowing like, should I take this action to, you know, towards Aries? And then here it comes. It's like they're leveling up the playing field over here with the eight of wands. Um, and not only that, it just feels like they message you and are asking you to do something with them, go out with them. And I kind of feel like it's really in your energy and in your mind to whether or not you should go out with this person because I kind of feel like now you're kind of seeing, um, I think you're a little more aware of what's going on. And you're kind of like, you know, why does this person want to, you know, take me out, you know? 
Why do they want to do this? I don't know. It just feels kind of like you're asking yourself, like, why do they want to do that just by ourselves? Maybe you guys do it a lot with other friends. And this is why you're kind of thinking, hmm. It seems to me like they're asking you to do something that's awfully kind of maybe big. And maybe that's why you're kind of stuck in your head about what movement you should make. Um, clarifying. Choose wisely. Knight of Wands coming in. You guys could be dealing with another fire sign. Could be also dealing with a Pisces. Or like I said, and that earth sign. Someone is definitely dealing with an earth sign one way or another. Because I kept hearing Taurus. Um, but we have this. They're moving passionately toward you. And I think, Aries, you know it. Somewhere deep down inside, that's why this is in your energy, is because you know all of a sudden your best friend is kind of moving a little more passionately towards you. You're kind of feeling like, what are they doing? And it's, you know, kind of got you a little in your head a little bit, trying to think, I don't know what I should do. I'm not sure what I should do. You know, should I take this date? I mean, here it is again, you know. I mean, over here, it's like, here's the date night. They want to take you out on a date night. And maybe, like I said, you usually go with other people. And now all of a sudden, the other people are missing. And you're like, hmm, a little suspicious, don't you think? <laughs> and I think you're thinking that. Like, I don't know why they want to just go with me when we usually go with other people. Um, but this person really, uh, with the Knight of Wands over here, they're coming at you with the gusto. They're coming at you passionately. I see the passion over here, taking the action towards passion. Um, I think it's still being, in, like you're having these ideas that they're doing these things, but I don't think you know what to what level it really is. Um, a little blinded still to the level of passion this person has for you. Um, they're really coming at you inspired, really wanting you to, you know, really go on this date with them. They're very excited. Um, about this okay and it's like you're kind of like I don't know if I want to do that and they're kind of plunging at you right they're going deep they're they're taking this they're they're taking this action they want this they're like hurry up Aries and choose you know wisely tell me are we gonna go out on this date or not <clears throat> right so yeah you're kind of confusing them Ten of Pentacles, they see you as someone who is satisfying their needs. They know you very well. They've known you probably for a long time. Um, oh, they've dreamed about this moment. That's how I see that. They've dreamed about this moment. They've known you for a long time. They know who you are, what you're about, and they just think you are the best Ten of Pentacles over here. Page of Swords, the communication between the two of you is, is, I mean, it's sitting on top of the Ten of, of Pentacles. So, the, you know, your communication together is wonderful. You guys have a great um, communication between each other. It seems to me because they are your best friend. You know, they know what you're all about. They know what serves you well and what doesn't serve you well. So they believe that they can serve you well. Aries, because they know what you want and what you're looking for. Okay. They've taught, they've, with the Page of Swords over here, they have taken a lot of time and thought about how to ask you out on this date, how to get your attention for this. Um, okay. They're, like I said, they're very inspired. And they're really feeling very positive. Also, on the money area over here, it looks like they're doing very well in money. And they're on top of their game, and they have good financial, and it, like I said, it's sitting over here on top of this Ten of Pentacles. They have money. They're in a good place right now when it comes to finances. So they really want to, you know, go for the gusto with you. And maybe for them, it's been a long time since they've had any kind of, um, you know, good financial change. I mean, this is like the change in the wind, right? So it's almost like, here we come, right? I'm, I'm on top of my game over here, Aries. I'm ready to take you out. I'm ready to give you luxuries. 
you know, I've thought about it. Look at that. I've had great changes in fortune with Queen of Pentacles coming out. I'm telling you, you guys dealing with some kind of uh, earth sign, the Capricorn card coming out. And it's like, I am very prosperous. I want to nurture you. Um, it looks like they've been very patient in waiting for you to answer this this question of whether or not you're going to go and travel with him, go out on a date with them. Um, and they're patiently waiting. They're in no real hurry. Six of Pentacles, they want to give you, oh, wow. Nine of Cups, they've got all this money and all this stuff. They want to spend money on you. They want to give you the nurturing attention. They want to spend money on you, take you out. You're the, their Nine of Cups and they're, you know, they have their Nine of Cups and now they want you also to be a part of this Nine of Cups that they seek. It's something they've thought about for a while. It's not like they dream about you a lot. Three of Cups, yeah, I just, you make them happy. I feel like you guys do. You usually go out with your friends. I don't believe it's usually just the two of you and that's why. But it seems like they're giving you a lot of time to think about this, Aries, whether or not you're going to take this, patiently waiting again with the temperance. And now we have it twice. They do believe this was the perfect time. Um, yeah, to step up to make new chapters with you. They have the strength and the confidence to do so. But I do feel like you still don't 100% understand um, exactly how they really, really feel about you. And yeah, I just feel like you might even, you're just a little confused. Um, Queen of Cups coming up, they adore you. They see you as the love for them because they know you. And they know what you're about. The star card, they dream about you. They've wished upon a star about you. Wow. Okay, going over here, I just, you know, it's going to be really up to you, Aries, whether or not you're going to take this, you know. And the positive movement forward, as you're patiently trying to make your movement choices and decisions, they're over here being patient, waiting for your answer. Um, positive movement forward in the near future. We have seven of, of wands standing your ground or and taking, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. But it also feels like you're kind of standing your ground. The fool escape. Why are you escaping? You're standing your ground. You think this is a challenge for the positive movement forward. I think they feel it's a challenge too. I feel like you're challenging them. You're escaping the ideas. It almost feels like when it's, you know, with the fool upside down is escape. It's more like I'm kind of putting it out of my mind. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to, you're not going to take this. Why? For most of you, you're not going to take this this date, this proposal, whatever it is, this trip. You're still thinking three of wands. How long are you going to think, Aries? <laughs> How long are you going to think? It's almost like you're putting it in the back of your mind and you're like, I don't want this challenge. I don't even want to think about it. Um, and they're over here going, hello. I want to take you to the, you know, to the river. I got a new boat. Look at where I'm sitting. And I love you and adore you. And you're over here going, I don't know. I have to think. I'm strategizing. I got to think about this. I don't think I want to take this, this new opportunity. I don't think I want to take your offer. More than anything, you're escaping the offer. Why is Aries escaping the offer? Nine of Swords, the Sun, in reverse. Oh, wow. And the Ten of Wands, overwhelmed. This is very overwhelming. 
over very uh, very overwhelming um with the sun upside down it's like you're starting to see the red flags you're really seeing now that's why you're standing your ground because now you can 100 percent see where the spiritual union is coming in that they're actually making a love proposal to you not just going out on your boat as you know friends where you were getting suspicious over here in your energy right now in the present is really the red flags are really coming out now and this has put you in some kind of like overwhelmed uh way of thinking you don't know what to do i feel you know that's why you're really feeling like i don't know what movement choices and decisions to make because i'm realizing you're not really offering me to go out as a friend you're now offering to go out as you know as a date date and i don't think that's what you want and i so i think that that's really what's got you in your head yeah because that's that you know the perception of what's really going on with the red flags nine of swords upside down that having that perception having that that intuition popped and you're like oh no oh no right that's not what i wanted Let's see what your uh, best friend over here is thinking what is your best friend over here thinking? You've put them in eight of swords. Now you're now you're confusing them. Where they were patiently waiting. Now that you're becoming overwhelmed. Oh wow, yeah. Because the queen of swords, the communication is calm and you know, still calm and cool. You know, but it makes them feel like they're licking their wounds. Like maybe I shouldn't have asked Aries to do so. They were expecting you with the page of pentacles they're expecting you to take this offer and now they're starting to think like maybe i shouldn't have said anything to aries at all maybe i should have just been their friend they're not going to do what i want them to do now they feel kind of out in the cold they feel like you're kind of ignoring them aries like you're not being the same uh person that you were before hmm. Yeah, they were hoping with the Ten of Swords that you were going to move with them and that you would take this offer. But it's really going to be up to you on whether or not, you know, you're going to take their offer. It just looks like in the near future, you're like, now that the red flags are booming, you feel kind of overwhelmed. Like I said, they're kind of looking their wounds. <laughs> you haven't come to it. Hey, you have not come to a decision on whether or not what you're going to do. Let's see. Angel romance cards. It says, Aries, that you are staying optimistic about your love life in general. And you know that you deserve love. With this person, there could be religious factors that keep you away from them. Maybe you guys have two different, you know, maybe they're Catholic and... You know, and you're, you watch tarot, they don't like that. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Um, you know, maybe you're Christian. You know, they're Buddhist. Who knows? Something that has to do with religious factors is kind of what keeps you away from this as well. Um, for some of you, heart-to-heart -heart conversations will come up in the near future. I feel like that will happen. Let your other friends help you. Whoa. Okay, so here's your other friends over here at the Three of Cups. It's kind of like you're going to go to them and maybe you need to talk to them about, you know, wow, I didn't see that coming. They've been my best friend forever and a day. And, you know, I did not see that coming at me. Okay, with this other person, this, this best friend, clarify on the best friend for me. They have passion for you. They've been flirting with you for a while, Aries. You're so blinded. Um, for a lot of you, you're very blinded. Um, for some of you, you already knew that they've been kind of flirtatious, but you weren't seeing it in this way. Because I do feel for most of you, you didn't see it the way that it's really playing out in this story. Okay? They want you to keep an open mind. Okay? They do. They want you to keep an open mind. And they're trying to express their love to you. It just seems like it's very kind of hidden. 
right? With the moon sitting over there. Okay, and pay attention to the red flag, but we've seen that with the moon, or with, I'm sorry, the sun. Okay, because there is romantic feeling. That's all I've got there, guys. That was the last card. Okay, so there is that. And let's see what the angels have to say. But yeah, they're still hoping that you'll come back around once you, you know, get a decision. They're still feeling kind of hopeful, even though they are out in the cold. So they have mixed emotions. It feels like mixed emotions. The situation will improve, the angels say. Compromise. No need to worry. So it looks like even if you don't take their offer, their love offer, because you maybe you don't love them that way. You love them like a brother or a sister. You know, like we love our best friends. Um, and you will come to a compromise to make them understand. And I do believe that. And I believe you will do it very calmly as the queen of swords over here. And make them understand that, you know, hey, you know, I see you this way. It's not a passionate love. I'm not in love with you. I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Two different kinds of love. And I really think that's really what's going to happen here. Um, in the near future is that you're going to have to, you're going to have to come to the terms of how important is this best friend to you and to make them understand back, back the train up here, you know, Mr. or Mrs. It's not quite like that, but it is going to be, I think, hard for you in some ways because you're, I, you know, you don't want to break their heart, heart, right? So I think this is where this heart to heart conversation is going to really come into play, guys. Okay, to make them understand the way that you feel. Okay. Because I know, you know, you're not going to, you know, you don't want to break their heart. But you do want to make them understand, you know, how, how it really is. Right. And let's see what our life purpose cards have for you. Let's see what life purpose cards say. Yep, it is time to decide. Make this decision. Don't let them sit on the back burner too long. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. If you truly know deep down inside that you're hiding a love for them and you do have romantic feelings for this person you always have, this is going on the other side, you need to go for the gusto. If you know deep down inside you do not, then you need, you know, then it's time to let them know. Okay. Because why do I feel like there's going to be one or two people out here that are just going to be like, yes, I've been waiting on forever. <laughs> you know, and it's like, you know, I've been hoping that would happen. But the first time of you are like, no, 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 we're best friends. That's it. So, okay. And pretty much let the love, the light and the love guide you. Just love and light. As I always say, you guys, love and light. And let it guide you to the true answers of what your heart's desire truly wants and desires. And that was the reading for you, Aries. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.